Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Continuing his catechesis on the current pandemic, in the light of Church social doctrine, the Pope at his weekly general audience on Wednesday stresses the importance of caring for each other and contemplating the world in which we live. Contemplating and caring, these are two attitudes that show the way to correct and rebalance our relationship as human beings with creation. Those were Pope Francis' words at the weekly general audience held in the courtyard of San Damaso in the Vatican. Speaking to the faithful gathered on Wednesday, the Pope stressed that in order to come through this pandemic, it is necessary to look after and care for each other. We must support those who care for the weakest, the sick and the elderly, he said, because they play a vital role in today's society even if they often do not receive the recognition and remuneration they deserve. This care, Pope Francis went on to say, must also address our common home. All forms of life are interconnected, he continued, and our health depends on that of the ecosystems that God created and entrusted to us to care for. Contemplation is the best anti. Contemplation is best attitude. <laughs> the best antidote against the misuse of our common hope is contemplation, said the Pope. He added that without contemplation, it is easy to fall prey to an unbalanced and superb anthropocentrism, which gives excessive importance to our role as human beings, positioning us as absolute rulers of all other creatures. Pope Francis went on to say, A distorted interpretation of biblical text on creation has contributed to this misinterpretation which leads to the exploitation of the earth to the point of suffocating it. We believe that we are at the center claiming to occupy God's place, and so we ruin the harmony of His design. We become predators, forgetting our vocation as custodians of life. Our mission is to care for our common home. Our poorest brothers and Mother Earth lament for the damage and injustice we have caused and demand we take another course. Therefore, the Pope underlined, it is important to recover the contemplative dimension those who follow the path of contemplation and caring emphasize the Pope, become guardians of our common home, guardians of life and hope, and this is needed in order to preserve and protect our common home for future generations. We shall continue this catechesis next Sunday. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus disease 2019 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsul, pray for us. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Steve G. Santiago and Family, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, Stephen and Joy Santiago and Family, Sally Mae Santiago Lim and Benedicto Lim Jr. and Family, Sunny Boy and Luella Santiago and Family, Alex P. Montañez and Family, Mercy Evangelista and Family, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrile, Tilinao Trucking Services, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Mr. and Mrs. Protasio Takandong, Shardan, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Purita and Lorenzo and Family, Wellands Food House, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and Family, Mr. and Ms. Lucas B. Datoy and Family, Jess and Amelia Dizon, Gus and Sophie, Fel Yamido and Family, Adolfo and Malo Ato, Amparo Icasas and Family, Emar Human and Environmental College and Family, Vivian Cam, APC, Carwell Construction Incorporated, June and Beth Opos and Family. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group. MR Human Environmental College faculty and staff, headed by the President Maria Lita A. Montalban. Thanksgiving intentions Nida Tomalip, Dr. Carlos Tan and Family, Anonymous, Vita Rivera Bookkeeping Services. Elsa Garcia and Family, June and Beth Opus and Family, Mary Beth Juarez, Emmanuel Montalban, Arthur Montalban, Good Health, Lita Montalban. Birthday Intentions, Lydia Semera, Marie Abigail Opus, Aries Batong, Wilhelmina Dancel, Erlinda Hamoy, Luz Llanillo, Diwata Paez, Melrose Sabio, Laila Oliver, Daryl Dave Masapa, Louis Jan Masapa, Minda Camarillo, Mariette Noblesa, Eduardo Villacorte, Rudy Tabudlung, Gloria Napitan, Nizel Jeremy, Christine Hermoso, Carmen Napil, Catherine Borla. Special intentions of Emmanuel and Arthur Montalban, Janet and Arnel, successful wedding and celebration of Lloyd Peter and Aisa Opus, to have a gift of a child, Marcelino and Lidzel and Rongo, successful and smooth sale of Priscilla House and rental transaction offered Matina property. Recovery and healing of Emil Season, Lourdes Dulatre, Christine Mabilin, Leo and Regina, Shielas Juarez. For the eternal repose of Father Fernando Suarez, 
Rodolfo, Bernardo, Milagros, Luciana, Germin, Erlinda, Claudio, Thelma, Marutas, Julio, Menandro Sr., Anastasio, Filipa, Eduardo, Ernesto Sr., Manuel, Renerio Sr., Conrada, D and Cam deceased members, Domingo, Abraham Sr., Felisa, Laudimer, Damaso, Benilda, Tranquilino, Ricardo, Luisa, Nicolas, Jesus, Rosalie, Monday, Cleto, Roger, Griselda, Leticia, Eugenio Sr., Estrella, Ernesto Sr., Jimmy, Junel, Nenito, DJ Ne, and all who died of COVID-19, all the souls in purgatory, all deceased benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Media Mission. Lord and Father, God without end and Almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people. Deliver them from their sicknesses and restore them in their good health. So that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today's warning that comes to us from today's first proclamation and the gospel speaks of his own way of evaluating our performance and of rewarding it. If sometimes he seems to show a special attention for the last and the least, it is not for us to question his behavior. We should rather learn from him to show a special love for the weak the losers and the lost, without pampering or humiliating them. God's generosity towards them should be our inspiration rather than the cause of our envy. The good that we receive from the Lord is always much more than we have deserved. The presider of the Holy Mass is Father Joel Baguna, SSP, Society of St. Paul, Catalonan Grande, Davao City. The choir during this Mass is the SF FSP Choir Davao. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand as we start the Holy Mass. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to our celebration and we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 
as we gathered here as one community, as one family, we acknowledge our sins, our failures, our weaknesses, our faults. And with faith and trust and confidence, we ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of mercy, He is full of compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify. to God in the highest and on earth peace of people of good Lord Jesus Christ only begotten Son Lord God Lamb of God Son of the Father You take away the of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right. God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, be the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of glory. Glory to God in the to people of good being. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law, upon love of you and of all our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we merit to attain eternal life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Human beings are often tempted to fashion a God in their own image and likeness. Today, 
we are reminded that God is immensely different from us, and all that we have to do is seek His mercy for our shortcomings. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways. And my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness the lord is good to all and compassionate to all his works the lord is near to, to all who call upon him the lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works the Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. Facing the prospect that He may be sentenced to death, the Apostle Paul states that what matters most to him is not what he would prefer, but what Christ wants for the greater good of the church. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, Christ is life, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet, that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only, conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
to the words of your song. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You too, go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went up, and they went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. And I said to them, You too, go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers first, give them the pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who have started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they had would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, This last one's work only an hour, and you have made them equal to us. over the day's burden and the heat? And I said to one of them, reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, sa po sa napakaseryusong problema na ating naranasan at naramdaman ngayon, a serious social problems, ika nga na tinatawag natin ay yung unemployment. Hindi po ba? Dahil po sa pandemyang ito, dahil po sa COVID-19 na ito po, ang daming nawalan ng trabaho, maraming layoff, maraming nagsara na kumpanya, maraming hindi na ka, perma ng kontrata. As a difference, these negative effects of being unemployed are well documented. Ang dami ngayon, makikita din natin. As the experience of being unemployed or masasabi natin out of work brings with it that physical and mental problems. Ang hirap. Ang hirap. Plus the social stigma caused by it. Kaya ngayon, di ba? Uso na ang online. Kaya nga sabi na ang hina ngayon ng internet. Daming online online store, nagbibinta na kung anong-ano. 
kaserola kardero, pati arenola, binibenta na. Pagkain, ulam, hindi po ba? May mga gadgets din. Online na. At siyempre, mayroon ngayon ang uso. DIY. Do it yourself. Marami ngayon ang nagtatanim ng maibat ibang uri ng bulaklak. Kaya maraming pumunta doon sa kumbento namin eh, kasi humihingi na mapaputol man lang na iba't ibang tanim na ilalagay nila sa paso. Para lang kumita, hindi po ba? Well, many brothers and sisters in Christ, ano po ba ang epekto nito sa mga walang trabaho? Lalo na po sa mga ang tagal na nilang walang hanap buhay. At siyempre, ang unang-una na maapektuhan ay isang tao ay yung walang trabaho. Ang kanyang sinasabi natin na kanyang self-esteem, ang pagtingin niya sa kanyang sarili. Ika, para ba, ang baba ng tingin ng sarili ko. Wala akong nagawa. Hindi ako productive. Walang silbi. Ika nga. At bakit nga ba naman di bababa? ang pagtingin ng isang tao sa kanyang sarili. Kung ang tawag sa kanya mismo ay, ay, nako, katuga yan. Padar, anong ibig sabihin ng katuga? Kain, tulog, gala. Di po ba? O may, ay, ba naman sa, ay, ama yan. Alang nagawa. Mas patindi kung sasabihin ka ay, patabaing baboy yan. Nga sabi pa niya, mabuti pa mag-alaga ngayon ng baboy kasi after four months, mabenta mo. Kasi kasama mo sa bahay na after four months, ganun pa rin, batugan, hindi po ba? Well, hindi pa yung iba naman po ay sarili nila mismo ang kanilang nilalait. Kapag tinatanong mo sila, ano pa ba ang kurso mo sa buhay? Sasabi na, ay nako, maskom ako. Wow! Ang galing mo, mas kumpa. Uso ngayon yan. Mas kum, mas komportable ako sa bahay. Hindi po ba? Mas komportable ako sa bahay. O kapag tinanong mo naman, ano na yun ang trabaho mo? Kahit na po nagsara ang channel 2. Kahit nagsara na po ang stasyon na yun, ay ang trabaho kong ABS. Bakit? Bantay bata sa bahay, sabi, sabi nga nila. Kita nga siguro nagsara ang airport, ang may aeroplano, sa pal pa rin ako palamunin. Hindi po ba? Mayroon naman, mas sosyal. Anong trabaho mo yun? Chemist. Wow! Kailangan natin ngayon yan. Lalo na sa mga nag-swab. Chemist? Opo. Chemist. Chemesis. Umaasa. Ang hirap, hindi po ba? Kapag wala tayong trabaho. Indeed, one of the negative effects of being unemployed is the low self-esteem. Minsan, ikinakahiya natin ang ating sarili. Bakit kinikwento ito, mga kapatid? Because with this introduction, we'll be able also na maintindihan po natin we can understand better the parable of today on this 25th Sunday in our ordinary time. The laborer and the landowner, hindi po ba? Kasi po sa talinghagang ating narinig ay marami din po ang walang trabaho. Marami din po ang mga unemployed. Marami din po ang mga walang ginagawa at tatayo-tayo lamang doon sa liwasang bayan na katambay. Pero wag nating iparis po ang mga ito sa mga standby sa kanto natin ngayon o sa mga tinatawad ay natutulog yan sa pansitan. Napakariniwang po ang inisip natin ay nakala natin ay kasi tamad yan, kaya walang trabaho, kaya walang magawa sa buhay, kasi tamad. Hindi po sila ganun. Hindi po ganun ang tao sa ating kwento ngayon. The marketplace na minimension po sa ating kwento sa araw na ito in the parable is almost equivalent 
almost the same sa isang employment agency today. Para bang isang opisina ito na nag hire ng mga tao ng iba't ibang trabaho sa buhay. Kaya the landowner would go there. Pupunta sa doon to hire workers. At siyempre the workers who were standing in the marketplace were, masasabi natin precisely, they were waiting to be hired. They were waiting to be employed. Kaya siguro natin ay nakapill up na yan ng form. Kaya doon na lang po, nakaantay para tawagin na lang sila. Pasok ka na for interview. Ay nakita na nakatambay lang muna doon. So, those who were standing in the marketplace idle all the day and had nobody to give them opportunity. Hindi po sila nabigyan ng oportunidad to be productive. Hindi po sila mga tamad. Hindi po sila mga tamad. Hindi lang po sila ayaw ng trabaho. Hindi, hindi lang po sila na hard. Hindi lang po sila masasabi natin, nabigyan ng kontrat. Okay, magtrabaho ka na dito. Hindi po. In fact, they were asked why they were idle all day long. At ito po ang narinig natin dito sa ating Ibanghelyo. Well, because nobody hired us. Nobody hired us. Just imagine how they must have felt when nobody wanted to hire them. Hindi po ba? Siguro marami sa atin ngayon. Nakaranas din na mag-apply ng trabaho. Pabalik-balik. Okay, don't call us. We'll call you up. After one week, wala pa rin. After two weeks, wala pa rin. After one month, wala pa rin. That means, hindi ka tanggap. Hindi ka tanggap. Well, my dear friends, ganun nga po ang i-imagine na natin yung negatibong epekto nito sa kanilang self-confidence. Bakit kaya hindi ako natanggap? Bakit kaya hindi nila ako nagustuhan? Particularly po, itong last group, na narinig natin sa ating kwento sa araw na ito. Yes, my dear friends, then and now, di po ba, the most basic qualification for employment is, siyempre, your abilities and your skills. Kaya nga, when I was also assigned sa aming apostolate noon sa HR, hiring din po ng aming mga staff noon, ang una titignan mo, di po ba, ang resume, And then after that also, may interview din. May exam din. Ang haba din ng proseso. Kinasala mo rin. And so, natural lang po na piliin na naghahanap ng mga manggagawa ay yung may abilidad. Yung magaling. Yung skilled workers. Kaya usually, di ba, for hiring, ito ang qualification, ito ang edad, ito ang background, ito ang skills, ito ang talis, ang dami. So kung pasok ka doon sa mga qualifications na yung masabi, ay, pwede na ako. Pwede na ako. At syempre, mga kapatid, kapag Iniiwanan o di mabigyan ng trabaho yung mukhang walang abilidad at di natatagap masakit. Di ba? Sakit kaya ng rejection eh. Hindi po ba? Masakit ang rejection. Yung mukhang, ah, hindi ka pwede dito eh. Maganap ka na lang ng iba. Ah, doon ka na lang sa kabila. Baka pwede ka pa doon. Yes, my dear friends, this diminishes the self-confident of an unemployed. Lalo ngayon, sa hirap ng buhay, may hirap umanap ng trabaho. Kaya mga kapatid, it is important to point out what the landowner has really done. Ano mo ba ang ginawa niya sa mga hindi po natanggap? 
Ano po ba ang ginawa ng landowner sa mga hindi na hard na mga workers? Ang ganda po ng kanyang ginawa. Binigyan niya po ng chance ha? Not only a chance to work in the vineyard. But importantly po, binigyan sila ng confidence sa kanilang sarili. Ika nga, hindi pala sila baliwala. Hindi pala sila, ah, walang selby. Sa pag sa kanila, masasabi, hoy, magaling din pala ako. Kasi pinili din pala ako. Tumas ang self-confidence. Noong inihari sila, binigyan sila hindi po lamang ng kahulugan ng kanilang buhay, but also a more meaningful life. More meaningful life. As the Lord order, gave them the sense of worth. Mahalaga ka. Mahalaga ka. May halaga ka. And He made them feel that they are needed. Kailangan ka. Kaya huwag ka tantambay-tambay lang dyan. Pwede ka. Halika. Well, mga kapatid, ito din po ngayon ang imbitasyon sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Nakala natin, ah, bali, wala na lang ang ating buhay. Nakala natin, wala naman tayong silbi. Nakala natin, ay, dyan na lang tayo sa isang tabi. The Lord is inviting each and every one of us. You too, come to my vineyard. Work for me. Work for me. I'd like to ask you to dwell on this invitation. At palalimin po natin, pag nilay-nilayan po natin ito, let it echo in our hearts and in our minds. You too, come to my vineyard. Work for me. Mga kapatid, this is a clear statement of our Lord's faith in us. May tiwala po ang Diyos sa atin. Naniniwala po siya sa atin. He believes in us. And this is why He calls us to work for His vineyard. He believes in us. That is why Masasabi natin, He entrusts to us His mission sa bawat isa sa atin. Pinagkatiwalaan tayo ng Diyos. Naniniwala ang Diyos sa atin. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord simply believes in us. And that is why He constantly invites each and every one of us. Kaya sa araw na ito, nandyan po ang paanyaya ng ating Panginoon. Alika, you two, come, go to my vineyard, work for me. Ano po ba ang ating tugon? Ano po ba ang ating tugon? Amen. As our response to the words of God, we all stand and we profess our faith. I believe in God. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, 
begotten, not made, consubstantial, and Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For, for our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has chosen all the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward for the resurrection and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear friends, today you are challenged with the gospel to learn from God to be generous to all and to answer his invitation to work for him. And so let us extend our concern, especially the needs of all mankind, and present them to the Lord as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that all Christians may generously work in the vineyard of the kingdom without expecting material rewards and without envy for those who achieve more, let us pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. That the Holy Father, our bishops, and all our religious leaders may ever more encourage and welcome the active involvement of all Catholics in the apostolic initiative of the Church, let us pray. That our civil authorities may take part to heart the welfare of all citizens, and especially the marginalized, the homeless, the jobless, and the sick. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all teachers and catechists may take good care of the children entrusted to them and follow with special love the less gifted and the weak. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the members of our community may promote the spread of God's kingdom in our midst without jealousy or rivalries, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the elderly, sick, the orphans may be taken care of by their relatives and friends at this time of suffering and fear, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of the faithful departed will enter the joy of paradise, especially the victims of COVID-19, the deceased members of the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline Media Mission, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for giving us the privilege to work in your vineyard. Make us magnanimous toward our fellow workers that we rejoice with them when all of us receive our final reward in the kingdom of heaven, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Bless our Lord God of all creation through goodness we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this wine to offer. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God May dear friends, the table is ready. Pray therefore that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept us in the grace and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may theirs to these heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. And by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so we gathered here with a company of angels and the saints. And we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Make all therefore his gifts, we pray, by sending down his spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat a bit. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of please you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Our Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, thy will be done for earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we always free from sin and safe from all distress, as I await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, for in yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we are gathered and invited to partake in His holy banquet. For those who cannot receive Holy Communion, we pray the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things, because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with his sacrament, that may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ, our Lord. Dr. Jane Malov invites us to embark on a fascinating journey in the little way, a path that is clearly mapped out by the gospel truth. We are God's children and nothing can separate us from the love of God in this journey. The little way, fresh air for the soul, a retreat with St. Therese of Lisieux at 150 per copy, available at the Pauline's Media Center, Bolton Street, Davao City, Philippines. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, today the Lord is inviting us to go to His vineyard and to work for Him. And so the Mass has been offered, go in the peace and love of Christ and one another. Thanks be to God. Till the end of my days, O Lord, I will bless your name, sing your praise, give you thanks all my days. You have bid me live less than a God And have loved my heart with your love With dignity and honor you clothe me Giving me all over all Till the end of my days, O oh Lord I will bless your name Sing your praise Give you thanks all my days. To all teachers in the world, we are praying for you. Take courage and stay safe. 